What is up everyone, it's Gadgets Boy. Welcome, Welcome back to another weekly <laughs> tech show. Uh, I'm Tommy and this is John. Um, J-O-N. There you go, John with the, with or without the H rather, rather yeah, than, yeah, yeah. Who yeah. puts an H anyway, silent. You always say that, but people with H in their name, they have issues with that. Well, they need to stop having the H in their name. It's drama, beef. drama alert. Anyway, back to tech. Back to tech. So it's been a great week. Um, I just got back from New York from uh, the Samsung event, which is really good. I saw the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Um, what do you think? It's really good. We saw that already, even before the event. No, we, anyway. did get, we, well, we did get a chance to have a little early yeah. look at it. And my first impression was really positive. Yeah. But I just, for me, like I said before in the last week, I had my own reservations about the phone, but yeah. it does look really powerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it makes powerful. a good impression. Exactly, exactly. Because if you guys don't know, it's the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 and this is the uh, the latest one in line in the Note series. Uh, the Galaxy Note 7 unfortunately had issues, so we won't talk about that. Um, but the Note 8, <laughs> the Note 8, no comment. The Note 8 is uh, the one that they've had a chance, they've had, really, uh, they've had some time on it to work on it and make it the best it can be. Uh, specifications wise is really good it's got a good processor chip in there 6 gig RAM you can expand the memory by up to 256 uh, gigabyte that's yeah. say megabyte uh, <laughs> gigabyte <not> of um, <laughs> uh, micro SD card uh, it's got Exynos chip in there in some parts of the world or Snapdragon uh, latest chips yeah. chipset 835 right? 835 um, and what else have I missed good camera yeah the camera is um, the thing I'm most impressed by yeah so dual lens camera setup so this is the first Samsung first Samsung device it's the first camera in the world that has with dual OIS exactly so that's the first in the world yeah. but it's also the first Samsung device with dual lens setup yeah actually because yeah, it's the first time they've done it um, each one has OIS which yeah. means when you take shots um, they're both stable. it looks sharp yeah and we also had uh, we did took a helicopter over New York City. Yeah, that looked cool. Manhattan, Man. which is really good. I'll cue, go? I'll cue the clip here. I'll, I'll cue the clip here so you guys can see OIS in action. Um, so, yeah. also, what's good about the two camera setup is this one one's wide, one's telephoto. Yeah. Um, again, I'll leave a link to the video detailing a bit more. We 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 had we've got a separate video for that. What I really like about that is uh, you got a dual capture system. So when you capture a, your subject you've got the opportunity to go back into it. Okay, so, so you're saying even if at the time yeah. I didn't zoom in, later yeah. on if I wanted to, it can capture both shots. Of exactly, so what, cool. one's telephoto, one's wide. So every t if you go into that mode on the photo, when you take that shot, mm -hmm. um, the you can go back into it and decide to go, oh, actually I want the telephoto version or yeah. I want the wide version. Nice. So you don't have to worry about setting the right mode Zooming each in and every time. That. So it's re that's a really good feature, that's a good I function, think. Yeah. Um, and also live aperture mode. Okay. And it gives you like a. Oh, is that like the uh, yeah, like the shallow depth of field? Yeah, yeah. So cool. blurred background. Um, so again, that one you can edit edit it after you've taken the shot, so you can go back into it and change how blurry yeah. you want the background. Um, and then obviously the S Pen, it's refined, it's thinner. That's what everyone wants it's to more know more precise. For. It's all yeah. about the S Pen. Yeah, and then always on display. In fact, I've got the phone here myself. So always on display on there. You can actually write notes. Cool. Without having to. Uh, go into unlock your That's phone. That's a really nice colour. What colour is that? So that is the blue version. So that looks hot. Yeah, it looks really nice. It's like metallic blue. Yeah. Um, your battery. It's, well. it's got a really. It's got an official name, but I'm not sure what I with right now. Watch the video. You find out more about it. So uh, for me, it's very similar to the S8 in whoa, terms whoa, of. Whoa, 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 whoa! You haven't adjusted by the camera. Suddenly looks different. Oh, <laughs> so, 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 so. <laughs> The battery ran out on one camera, so we've now switched to a we've different now camera. We've switched to a completely so different camera. Apologies if you notice the difference, but and if it's out of focus, yes. Tommy set it up. Yeah, you be fine. But as anyway. long as you can see me, you can hear me. That's what it matters. <laughs> but yeah, you've got the Note 8 now and yeah. the S8. So how would you yes, say they compare? Um, so for me, I feel like um, this is more of a work uh, sort of device for me or creativity product. Yeah. In the sense that with S Pen, you can do a bit more. Camera is better and stuff. So I think if you walked into a store and you saw these two devices, mm -hmm. um, it would boil down to the fact that do I need a spend or not? Yeah. Uh, How much productivity do you do, need yeah. from your phone? Exactly. Uh, camera wise, I think the S8 is still one of the best camera uh, smartphones I, I still love it. on the market. So yeah. you're not really going to be missing out. Um, but if you're a Note fan from day one or yeah. whatever, then this is definitely Which worth. Which you have been. You've had every, I've, I've had every single one. Every single one. This is definitely worth the upgrade. Yeah. Infinity Edge display to go with the S8 yeah. kind of uh, design language. The display is gorgeous. Um, good camera, apps, app pair, which which means you can pair two apps that you use very often yeah. together, tap it from the edge, 
So you swipe, slide across. So like me with like WhatsApp and Instagram. Yeah, yeah. So it's now just one button away. So like for example, you got I've got Gmail oh, and cool. Chrome set up. Yeah. So now I can just tap that button. So tr straight away it loads up the two. That's really cool. Favorite apps that I'm always pairing together. Yeah, yeah. So it looks like that. So it's just a matter of swiping from the app edge. Yeah. And boom, done. I like that. Um, so again, I just like little. It's smart. Yeah, little it's things just like that smart. just makes the Note 8 for me one of the best smartphone out right now. Yeah. Uh, pricing wise, it's a bit hefty though. What's uh, it it's, it's in the regions of like 900 pounds to 1,000 pounds just to buy one of these. You could buy a car. <laughs> uh, it's, it's pricey. Uh, it's not for everyone. That's no, what I've been. Uh, anyone who's asked me, I was like, it's not for everyone. Um, you've got other options. But it's a premium phone. But well, it's a premium device. And that's the direction of yeah. travel. Everyone's making thousand dollar phones nowadays, exactly so. and i think just just be careful because people will tell you oh, it's expensive there are it's got loads of different features mm -hmm. and reasons why it's a premium to device justify to justify the price okay. uh it's the same way if you if you go and buy an apple device yeah the 7 plus is a lot of money to get to get like the 256 yes, gig version but it's a premium device at the yeah. end of the day um so yeah that's been me this week uh i've just seen a smartphone and that's the main thing for me this week. and you went to new york and i went to new york um, I've also seen some new stuff, but I'm not allowed to talk about it just yet. But if you are going to check us out during the EFA conference, yeah. then we will be able to talk about everything we've seen for the last couple of weeks yeah. that's been under NDA. Yeah. Um, so definitely make sure from, I think, Wednesday, no, from Thursday, like the, the 30th. Thursday to Saturday, we'll be yeah. posting stuff on Instagram, Twitter, yeah. on our Facebook, Gadgets Boy. Um, we'll be doing some live streams as well. Yeah. We've got some new stuff coming internet in from permit, internet. Internet, yeah. Internet strength permitting, we'll yeah. be live streaming from yeah, IFA. Yeah. We've also got some stuff coming in from Pioneer. Pioneer audio email, company. Emails about, yeah. yeah. So some new audio from Pioneer, which we're really looking forward yeah. to seeing. I'll be there with uh, Harman, who yeah. looks after JBL. So there'll be lots of stuff speakers. coming out from JBL. Some speakers, audio. headphones, etc. And I'm doing some camera and some fitness stuff with Fitbit. So That's definitely make sure well. you check that out. Exactly. Uh, in, in, in terms of smartphones, it's like LG, Sony happening. And there will be Samsung as well, oh, but we it won't be a smartphone. No. I think I, I I don't know anything, but I reckon Audio? it'll be. No, I reckon it'll be fitness again because okay. last year Somewhere they introduced tech. yeah wearable tech. So last year they introduced the S3, at okay, yeah, yeah, not yeah. a smartphone. Yeah. So again, because no A is already out, S8 is already so maybe out. Maybe a new watch. Maybe a new watch. Maybe a new tablet. Who That'd knows? Be cool, Samsung's always up to something. Yeah, so, definitely. Yeah, looking forward to that. And then you've been playing with a new camera, which we just unboxed Ooh, as well. Yes, that's going um, to the channel. Check out the unboxing video. It's a bit embarrassing, but yeah, like I leaked out over this camera because I've been in love with this camera for well over a year, and I finally got my hands on it. The Hasselblad X1D, which is a medium format, compact, mirrorless camera. Okay. And it is just outrageous. It's so beautifully designed. Um, I think the design of it is kind of what mostly attracted me to the camera. Okay. But it's got a 50 megapixel medium format sensor. It's four times the size Wait, of... Whoa, whoa, whoa. 50? 50 megapixel. I remember you telling me this last time I had the same yeah. reaction. 50 what? megapixel so <laughs> medium format sensor. So it's right. significantly larger than a full okay. frame camera. Um, the quality of it is outrageous. It collects a lot more light. Okay. So the detail in the images, the light handling, the dynamic range, everything about it is... Yeah, leagues above anything you'll get from a DSLR. Nice. And your lens on there. Yeah, um, this is also new. It was announced, I think, earlier this year. It's the 30mm XCD lens for this camera. Right. And on a medium format camera, 30mm works out around... It's like a wide angle. So Great. like an equivalent to a 24mm lens on a full frame camera. And with this sort of camera, one thing I like about the Sony, for example, is I can get a Metabone adapter. Yeah, I'll you can get adapters for this as well. Okay. And use a Canon lens, for example. Yeah, Okay. I wouldn't want to put Canon glass on this. Okay. <laughs> You. <laughs> Canon compatible. I'm not hating, I'm just yeah, saying yeah. I've got a Hasselblad. Why would okay. I put Canon glass on a Hasselblad? Fair, fair. But I could put Hasselblad glass on a Canon. Yeah. And that would be cool. Okay. You can get adapters from, from Hasselblad to Canon. So that would be yeah, something cool. we could do. Um, I think that's it else? for this week though. Yeah. Um, there's nothing else that I've covered that you don't know about. Yeah, very true. Very true. I think this week's been very uh, briefing and briefing because as a lead up to if is about what's to come, to come up. up. So. We'll have more to talk about definitely next week. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, I've, I think unless that's you have, it. That's, that's it. Yeah, that's it. All right. Don't overload the people. Yes, too much info. <laughs> TMI. <laughs> TMI. <laughs> but yeah, thanks guys. Thanks for tuning in for another weekly one. And um, hit that subscribe, yes, please. We need all the well. subscribers we can get. And share also, it. if you've got any comments or like weird things to say, I like reading weird comments. Yeah, just drop them. I drop get loads them of them, so put them in the comment section yeah. below. And yeah, follow us on all of our Twitters and Instagrams and all, all the info stuff. below as well. All the info's in the section below. So yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks and for watching. Next week. Carnival.
See you in the next one. <laughs>